everybody was waiting on the 4th of July to see how different people are going to usher in the day. A tweet maybe, a short video, how's your celebrity crush gonna post on Instagram about it? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I had to take a look at what Donald Trump was uh, was saying and he re-bleated this. 81 million votes and I've never seen a pro Biden hat, shirt or flag in my life, F Biden. That's what he sent out. Oh, F Biden and F you if you voted for him, said the former president of the United States saying true, no Biden hats anywhere, never seen one. So if you were wondering if Trump is gonna transition to trying to appeal to Biden voters, yeah, in a really weird way he is, F them. Anyway, he also put this out, man, they love using AI to put Trump in like whatever situation definitionally he'd be least likely to ever be in. He's on the front lines of a war, Trump. He's leading the troops in at the cost potentially of his own body. Who thinks literally any of this JR? What is the point? I'm sorry, John. I was I was biting my tongue to not cut you off here. What is the point of this? So, uh, former president of the United States, former failed businessman, uh, current uh, racist. So as this all goes through and constant these constant images of him being in these random situations with with like revolutionary soldiers, what does that do? What does that do for your issues with inflation, with your mortgage and rent costs, with health care, with education? With your children, with any of the stuff that we all talked about was supposed to be these big issues for midterm elections that Republicans came up short on. What does Donald F. and Trump standing on some fire ground with a bunch of random folks behind him with bayonets? What does that have to do with all those issues that you guys were complaining about? Because some of those issues are very much real. What is it that Donald Trump will do about it because he's standing on a flaming ground in an AI image? If you put John Iderola's head on a random body in the middle of a flaming field fighting some unknown force, what does that do? Does that suddenly mean, oh, there's an image of John Iderola on a random body doing things that he would never do because he wasn't around in 1760? <laughs> I don't care. But either way, that somehow is a political message from a former president because he yeah. doesn't want you to think about how he's under investigation for this, that, and the third thing, and the 18 other things on top of it. He will bring it up when he says, go to the streets and start fighting and shooting off your guns and try and find your political opponents. He'll bring it up then. But when it comes to putting him in office, for some reason, this image is a winner. This I is know, the problem I don't. In this country. Yeah, look, one, I, one do, of do, do, oh, what? No, one of many. I said this is the problem. Oh, one of many. I thought you said one more thing. Um, Look, do do I want to see that image of me as a general? (laughs) Sure, I think that's what everyone is thinking. Everyone was already thinking it. But um, yeah, look, is this utterly irrelevant? Yes. So apologies for that. It is. But but in a different way, is it? Why is reality so distasteful to everyone? Donald Trump. Multiple times had the opportunity, some would say the responsibility and the duty to serve his country. And he avoided doing that. That's fine, lots of people avoided service for a number of different reasons, some of them for principles. Does anyone think that that's why he didn't go? People were asking if you zoom in on that image, do you see the bone spurs? And I think that's a great point. He specifically avoided serving, maybe don't pretend that he's a soldier. But again, just generally, We are in a time when fewer and fewer people care about what is real. He he retruthed, I should say. Uh, Marjorie Greene, I'm only gonna read the beginning of this. We had world peace for four years under President Trump and we desperately need it again. And um, to that uh, follow up question, um, Representative Greene, what in the hell are you talking about? We dropped tens of thousands of bombs. We killed so many people across multiple states. There were multiple invasions and colonial actions and What is world peace to you? And that's not a rhetorical question. It's an interesting thing to think about. What rates as world peace to her? Is Syria still being bombed in world peace? Yes. Afghanistan, is Yemen being, yeah, all of those things are still happening. She goes on to say, we we have to stop spending American tax dollars killing other people in foreign wars. What she means there is, we should not support the Ukrainians. Because supporting the Ukrainians means that we don't have world peace. Not supporting the Ukrainians and the Ukrainians being butchered is world peace to Marjorie Greene. 
we just need to be clear about where we stand. And that is very much where she stands. It also appears to be where Donald Trump stands. But maybe we'll find out more about that if unfortunately he becomes president again. It's a simple question. I wish someone would ask her, what does world peace mean? It's a very simple question that you ask. What does that mean? What does world peace look like? Is that based off of what your what you tell your followers? Because by the way, again, one of the big problems many political opponents had was how we withdrew from Afghanistan under this president yep. that they don't like. His name is Joe Biden. So if we withdrew from Afghanistan after Donald Trump's four years of world peace, what was happening in Afghanistan? Was it peace? Hmm. I don't know the chronological order for how things work, I guess, when you stop hmm. a war. As badly as it would have gone to, to stop it and start it and continue it for the 20 years that it went on. Um, leaving it, for whichever way you believe about it, that's not my point here. Um, it does mean that there was a war still happening. Yeah. Hundred percent. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.